Have you heard of the phrase, talent is not enough? The same is true for you designers out there. Knowing how to create visually appealing designs isn't enough. You require more. Now, allow me to explain. Hi everybody, Innocent here and over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. I'm sure you've heard of people say that design has become very basic and that some people even look down on designers. That may be partially true because there are countless websites out there that helps basically everyone to design now. I don't want to mention website names but you can even imagine of them. So in essence, everybody now designs. Someone who has no idea of how to even design can go to a website in a button clicks and then they can come out with a design in the shortest possible time. And that is why as a designer, you need to distinguish yourself. So what sets you apart from the countless designers out there on the internet? What makes you different from all the people out there on the internet that says that they can design? The truth is every designer out there enjoys doing what they do. They love designing. And in most cases, people pay attention to the aesthetics part of design. But through designers out there knows how to do this. I mean, they can create aesthetically beautiful designs out there while they are able to communicate the design. And that is, they are able to market the design as well. So if you're able to create aesthetically pleasing designs alone, that is not enough. One of the primary goals of design is to communicate the client's idea and thoughts to the people out there, which requires the designer to look beyond themselves and consider the larger space and the parties involved. And this requires the designer to have skills other than design knowledge. So for a design to be successful, it basically has to follow three stages, the input, the activity, and then the output stage. The input is basically where research is being taught. You discuss whatever the client wants to do and all that, the initial stages of talking through the design process. The activity stage, on the other hand, is the stage where things are carried out, where you put resources together to come out with the design. The last stage, which is one of the most important parts, is when you bring out all that you've discussed so far and when you are able to communicate all of this to the right targeted audience. So for your design to be very successful, all of these three stages has to be complete. And mind you, in any of these stages, you require more skills other than design. For instance, in the first stage, that is the input stage, at the research stage, you need to have skills like writing, you need to have research skills, you need to have like communication skills to make this part very successful. The stage that a lot of designers focus on is the activity stage, that is the design part, and it's only one part of the three process. So recently I was discussing with one of my friends, brand guy Mikey on the creative talk and then he was emphasizing on how the market has been saturated and why designers should have more skills other than knowing how to design or even worse, knowing how to use a particular software. He emphasized that the market is very saturated and therefore everyone looking out for a designer is looking for a designer and more. He stated that people are looking for designers that pays attention to detail, that can proofread, that can make correction, that can even advise from a professional point of view. A typical example is when a client reaches out to you and then they come out with their own colors. You must be able to advise them from a professional point of view that these colors are not going to really help your brand and if you give me the chance I'm going to come out with different colors that would be very really helpful in that sense you are not only serving as a designer at that point you are serving as a designer and more what of those people that easily send out designs with so many mistakes it means that they are not able to proofread or read over whatever is sent to them clients are looking for these people and more so being a designer is not enough so the thing is knowing all of these other skills in addition to your design makes people see you in a different limelight and they get to appreciate your creativity the more in this sense people see you not only as a designer but as someone who has additional skills that can be helpful to their brands 
There are even other skills that we don't even discuss a lot, such like patience, such like making time for your clients and being on time. These are some things that people look out for when they are trying to find a designer. So you see, there is more to it than being a designer. And if you are thinking that in this age, in this era, knowing how to design alone or knowing how to create aesthetically beautiful designs is enough, I'm sorry, but you must be wrong. So if you are preparing yourself for the market and you are preparing to land your first client, you may need to prepare yourself with some of these skills. You may not realize it, but landing your next client may be as a result of your excellent communication skills as opposed to your great design study create out there. So there are so many skills that designers ought to learn and I intentionally saved a lot of them so that you can comment some of them in the description. So what are some of the skills that you think designers should learn and that would be helpful to them in the design journey and help them to land their next client? Leave your thoughts, comments and ideas in the comment section. Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.